moving out, more outgoing, more out into the world. It's the Sagittarius, it's a mutable fireside, very flexible, mutable, very interested in diverse subjects and very inspirational. So it's a kind of a, a, a sign that's constantly expanding its horizons. And they'll do that through study, philosophy, through travel, uh, very, very outgoing. And one of the things that uh, characterizes Sagittarius is they, they really say what they mean. They're the most undiplomatic sign uh, there is, really. Uh, and if you ask a Sagittarius what, what he or she thinks, they'll tell you. Um, and they love a great discussion. Um, and if, a, if Sagittarius wants to have success, they need, first of all, to feel that they've developed uh, intellectually. They need to feel that their job offers them, offers them wide horizons. They, they need to be in a position where they can argue their view, uh, where they convince people. They can teach, they can travel. Um, they just need freedom. They don't want restriction. And that way they'll have success and prosperity. Here's the Sagittarius quiz. Somebody lets you know about a bad habit that you have. So what's your reaction? You don't talk to them for a week. You tell the person directly what you think of their bad habits. You thank them for letting you know and start changing the habit immediately. Well, if you're a Cancer, or you might not talk to them, or a Scorpio, you might not talk to them for a week. But uh, as a Sagittarius, this is a wonderful opportunity for you to tell the person what you've always been thinking of them, so you'll tell them about their bad habits. The next sign is Capricorn, and uh, Capricorn is uh, a cardinal sign, an earth sign, so it's practical and it sets things in motion. Uh, so generally Capricorns are extremely ambitious. Uh, they want to move up the ladder of success, um, and they're very kind of one-pointed about that and very competitive about that, and very thorough, very methodical. That's the earth influence. Um, so uh, for a cardinal to be fulfilled and to have success, they must have the feeling they can advance. They're not content to stay in one position. They want promotion. They don't mind if there's a Capricorn's patient, a patient sign. It's an earth sign. Uh, so they don't mind waiting, but they need the promise of uh, uh, increased success and increased status uh, as time goes by. And they work hard, very responsible, quite loyal, uh, but they'll always go for the best uh, position. Um, and that way, uh, you know, they, they'll often end up uh, as an as a administrator or leader in their, in, in their field. So here's the Capricorn quiz. A design consultant converts your office into a modern open plan style. How do you react? You quickly adapt and praise the new styling and comfort. You put everything back as it was when she goes. You go out and buy some modern art for the walls. Aquarius might do that, huh? But uh, Capricorns, they're traditional, they're conventional. They, they're, they can adapt to change, but they, if something works, they don't want to change it. So they're not going to like this new modern open plan style. It's not them. Go back to, it's number two, go back to how it was. So the next sign, Second to the last sign is Aquarius, uh, which is a fixed sign and an air sign. So it's sociable and it's stable. And, and Aquarius gravitates towards other people. Uh, they uh, feel most comfortable in a group. And yet they have this quality, Aquarius, that, that they are different. Uh, the image of Aquarius is, is, is a human, whereas most of the other signs are like animals, like the goat or the ram. But Aquarius is a human. They're very human. But they often feel like they've just landed on this planet. They feel a bit like outsiders. But they're very motiv motivated for e equality and, and solidarity. Uh, and they, 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 they tend to fight for them. Very friendly people. Lovely people. With nice uh, uh, aura. And almost like a light around them. Um, so if an Aquarius wants success, they're quite 
into modern things normally. Uh, so they, it's nice to be connected with social media, uh, technology in some way. They feel good in a group. They can feel good in a large organization as well, uh, especially if it has international per perspectives. Uh, and uh, they're, they're inclusive. So that they, they don't need somebody with the same language, same nationality necessarily. They're very good at mixing. So that would give them success to be in an enlightened organization of some sort where they are dealing with modern, uh, modern concepts, etc. So here's the Aquarius quiz. Your local community decides to close down play school facilities. What do you do? So you organize parents in a grassroots campaign to get the decision changed. You set yourself up in business with your own kindergarten. Or you give up your job to have more time with your children. Yeah, Cancer might do that. Huh? Or a Capricorn might set up business. But no, Aquarius is uh, uh, really into the local community um, or the international community or the Facebook community and uh, uh, is interested in, in getting society to function in a fair way. So I think we go for number one there. The last sign of the zodiac, Pisces, it's mutable and it's water. It means they're very emotional and very changeable. And what characterizes Pisces, it's the last sign of the zodiac. It's like it's seen everything. And so it's not impressed by very much. Uh, and it's like the last sign is the sign of dissolution. Uh, and in a Pisces life, it's very difficult for them to build up things. They often find things like dissolving around them, but they're very, very good at dealing uh, with people and situations of change when things dissolve. So they're sensitive and compassionate. Um, they can be like martyrs uh, uh, and complain a lot, but they they're very quickly uh, uh, turn around to help other people and, and to give them sort of emotional support. You can't shock a Pisces. They can take anything. No story is going to put them up, off balance. They're, they're really there for you. They're attuned to the cosmos. Quite spiritual types, really. So it's a wonderful sign. So that's the 12 signs. A quick run through. And uh, now they should be in place. I'll just run you through the Pisces quiz, however. Um, your area council decides to dam a river to increase local water supplies. How do you react to this? You make plans to install a swimming pool in your garden. You join a campaign against the dam to protect the local flora and fauna. You join an extremist group and plan to sabotage the dam. Oh, that's too heavy for a Pisces, number three. Uh, they're going to join a campaign uh, they're very concerned with the environment. They identify strongly with the world. So, and they love nature. They love animals. Uh, identify with it. Uh, and uh, so I think we'd be going for number two there. So that's it. What we've looked at today is the four elements, the three modality, modalities, and the two polarities. Uh, these are the building blocks of the 12 signs. Later on, we're going to have a look at uh, how planets uh, act in these signs, because in a way, they're just like empty until a planet arrives, like the sun or the moon. And then uh, there's a very, very specific behavior that becomes evident, uh, tinged by the nature of the sign. So astrology is a big subject, gets very complicated, um, but this is the basic um, the basic building blocks are the 12 signs. If you want to learn more about astrology, you could get a book. This is a, an old book from the 70s by a guy called Tad Mann. Extremely good book. Uh, you could find that uh, easily on Amazon and, and buy it. A very good book for be beginners and gives extremely good introduction to the history of astrology and the basics of the astrological interpretation. Um, Another thing you could do is uh, you can go to my website, astrowow.com, and on that site you can make your personal horoscope page. Uh, it'll calculate your own horoscope. You can interpret your own horoscope. You can get, uh, you can get software, uh, which is in five different languages. 
which will also interpret your software, your horoscope for you, uh, uh, and that will generally get you started. You need to see your horoscope now and start uh, figuring out how it works. It's been a pleasure. I uh, hope to see you again for course number two, which is going to be about the planets. Thanks very much.